Hi everyone, I've got an Amazon parcel to open up today and it is a doll. Uh, let me get my, and I'm blaming Dexter and Dory for this. I saw this doll on Dexter's channel and on Dory's channel. So yeah, I'm blaming you two for this. <laughs> I hadn't, um, they hadn't come up on my radar, these dolls, until I saw them, saw Dexter get one. And I actually have got the same one that Dexter got. And then I saw Dory get them and Dory got all four. But they're not all four available to me in the UK yet. I got this one. You can see I ordered it yesterday. No, yeah, I ordered it yesterday and it came today. So here she is. She is the Barbie Dream Besties, Teresa. So yeah, I am going to unbox her. So I thought I would... Uh, unboxer with you she comes off like this so that bit comes off and you can see there's plastic tabs all around the side to undo and then we should be able to if we undo all these tabs like this we should be able to lift just the card part out And then we've got a couple of, hold on, I've lost my little scissors. Where have they gone? That's mine with a big pair. So she's held in with elastics. First thing I notice is that she's got a nice size legs. They're not really skinny. She's got an elastic on her arm, holding her hair to her arm. Her red top is made of mesh and it's actually spotty. It's got spots on it and then she's got a pleather, a pleather like bralette on and a pleather, pair of pleather shorts. They're nice. I like them. The only trouble is, like um, has been pointed out, pleather degrades with time. It doesn't, it won't stay nice like that unless they've altered how they make it, which I doubt, I doubt that very much, but yeah. So she's got a nice, like Dexter pointed out, she's got a nice natural coloured hair. It's more natural coloured. It's not natural coloured because it's got red in it, but it's more natural than, you know, we've had recently. So I'm pleased with that. I love her face. She's got little dimples in her cheeks. She does, it has been pointed out that she looks like rainbow high and I can see that in her face, definitely. She does, she looks like um, cedar wood to me, yeah. So she's got nude shoes on that look like they've got a fur texture to them. Bit odd, but never mind. As I say, the pleather outfit over the mesh top and the mesh top has got polka dots on it i'm not a fan of pleather it doesn't um it doesn't hold well it doesn't last well especially not in a play situation she does have on some molded under crackers no molded nothing molded on the top She's got a little gold necklace. I love that she's articulated at the knee and at the wrist and at the elbow, as well as the other five points of articulation. She can open her legs a little bit like that. She can sit down. Yeah, she can't, she, well, she can have tea with the vicar because she can shut her legs, that's good. You'd have to wear a longer skirt, I think, rather than shorts to have tea with the vicar though. She's got little red bows in her hair. And then she's got like these, I'm not sure what they are, like Mickey ears. Um, yeah, I am going to take her accessories out so that we can have a look at them. But um, as stated by both Dexter and Dory, they're not that marvellous, the accessories aren't. They could have done better. But let's have a look anyway. Yeah, I do really like her. I love her face and I love her hair. It's nice and long without being, you know, too long. She's got it all elastic down. I hate that. I hate it. Let's just get these this elastic off her hair. 
So now let's have a look at her hair properly. Yeah, it's got a bit of a, a bit of a kink to it. It's got two plaits, one each side with little red bows in. And then she does have um, these little earphones, which you can pop on and they've got ears on the top. They do fit her. You don't, she doesn't need the elastic on. They fit her fine without the elastic. She's got articulated knees. She's got articulated wrists and elbows. She can sit down with her legs decently closed. She can cross her ankles, she can touch her face. Well, she can just about touch her hair. She can touch her face. Yeah, she looks good, doesn't she? So now let's have a little look at her accessories. Her glasses look like her shoes. I mean, what? They look like molded, they look like molded fur look. I'm really, I don't, I, I don't understand it. Is it, am I getting old or what? You, what? Good grief, I've never seen anybody walking around with fur on their glasses or fur on their feet. Well, I mean, furry slippers, yeah, but not, not furry mules that you, you know, go out in public in. Right, let's see if I can get these glasses on because they didn't look like they were fitting very well to me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they fit her, but uh, she's not wearing them. They look silly to me. I actually prefer her headphones to her glasses, so she can have her headphones back on. Yeah, I do like those. Yeah, so she's got a... Uh, it looks like it must be some kind of game. Maybe she's playing a game on her phone. Because it does fit in there like the case. And then she can hold it in her hand because she's got her thumb... It's got a thumb hole, so she can hold that in her hand. And it's got a teddy bear on the back of the phone case. Then she's got a little backpack that says Game On on it. Looks a bit like a Game Boy sort of style backpack. Then she's got a keyboard, which is, to me, it's a waste of plastic. And then, as I say, she's got her little, cute little teddy bear and her ridiculous glasses <laughs> so yeah that was my um video for today opening up barbie dream besties teresa i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now